Hello YouTubers and fellow sober people. Um, I wanted to make a video because I haven't made one lately. And I wanted to talk about something that is, you know, something that I used to struggle with, but I've gotten much better and I've also changed my perspective a lot. And uh, now that I've done that, it's something that, you know, when I watch others struggling with it or complaining about it, it's, it's frustrating. So I just wanna talk about a scenario real quick that, um, like I said, I've had some, had some insight into all of a sudden. So, as some of you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm in a facility. Um, I came there after treatment, after residential drug and alcohol treatment for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to put some time in between me and my last use. I wanted to get some space um, where I would be focused on treatment, focused on sobriety, on the program, um, before I had to really tackle the world. Because, you know, honestly, it's the best way for success. Number two, I wanted to financially put myself in a better situation so that I didn't come out and immediately go into struggle mode to where I'm stressed out and then I want to do things like say screw it and go get high and throw everything away again. So I tried to commit personally, not court ordered, not um, made to be here by anyone other than myself, but I tried to commit to six months to try to do that, to try to put the most distance between my last use and also to put myself in a better situation financially. The first part is going fantastic. I'm doing a lot of meetings. I've had a sponsor. I've been working steps. I've been, I mean, quite frankly, I, I don't think I could be doing much better in that department. I've been putting a ton of work in. The other part, the financial part, um, I also put a ton of work in. I got a job right away. Um, I don't smoke, so I don't blow a lot of money that way. Um, I pay a couple of my small bills. I pay some child support. I uh, pay my phone bill and I've bought a couple of small things. I've done a couple of small favors for people and that's about it. Um, however, being in this facility, there are some restrictions. One, you can only work 25 to 30 hours a week. Number two, you cannot make more than 1385 a month. So less than $1,400. So it's not a situation where I'm sitting there just soaking up a bunch of money and putting it in the bank while I'm here on someone else's dimes, AKA the taxpayers. Um, actually, it's quite the opposite. I uh, barely have any money saved because I only work at Subway and I only make $9 an hour and I don't get 25 to 30 hours a week. I typically get 15 to 20. So my paychecks, although I could be maxing out around 650, 750 a week, or I'm sorry, every two weeks, it's, it's still make it under the mark. I'm getting like 350 to 375 every two weeks. So 700 to 750 every month. Take away child support, take away a phone bill, take away some hygiene stuff here and there um, I'm lucky to save $300 a month and that's if I have a really good month but here's the thing I have a couple choices I can sit and I can complain about how I'm not making enough money and I'm not being able to save enough money and how if only this if only that um, I could do that, although that wouldn't change my situation. A second choice I have is I can go out and do things to better my situation. Um, so for instance, last week I had a day off. I chose to go uh, put job applications in on my day off. This upcoming Wednesday, um, I texted my boss and said, hey, can you not put me at work until start me until four o'clock? I have a couple appointments. Those couple of appointments 
our uh, our two job interviews. You know, no, they're not for uh, you know uh, ER surgeon making $35 an hour or anything like that. Um, or even a factory worker making 15 an hour. There are other low paying jobs. Um, but guess what? If they don't pay me either more hour hourly or are can, uh, promise me more hours, guarantee me more hours. I could just combine the two. And I could work two part-time jobs and I would still be making more money and I will still be adding to the money that I can save each month. These are the things that we do. We do whatever it takes. It's not about sitting back and complaining about how I'm not making enough money or how I'm not, you know, able to do this or able to do that. It's about looking at my situation and saying, okay, what's my next best option? Well, my next best option is to get another job and to try to add to the money I can save. But it's certainly not to sit around and complain about how I'm not getting enough money, how I'm not saving enough money, how I'm not this, I'm not that. That's not going to change my situation. So this is just your friendly little reminder that if you want to change your situation, that's what you got to do is get up and go out and change your situation. No one's going to knock down your door and say, hey, here's a, a pile of money we've been holding on to because we know you're trying to save. That's just not how the world works. Um, would I like to be taken care of? No, frankly, I wouldn't. I prefer to do it on my own so that no one can take it from me. And if I lose it, it's my fault. See you next time.